So any interesting story about Sai Baba if you would like to share? Oh yeah, yeah. Which touched touched you so yeah. much as? I think the biggest touching point was uh, again the first time I went to uh, uh, Dwarka Mai in uh, January 2020. We were standing in the queue and uh, if you some some devotees who might have uh, been to Dwarka Mai might recollect that there is a dhuni on the left side mm-hmm. uh, and as we pass the dhuni and you take a take a turn. Mm-hmm. We have Baba's photo on this extreme right, mm-hmm. and there we have Baba's padukas, and uh, the priests out there give you some prasad. Uh-huh. And the prasad I got on my hand was appam, uh-huh. and appam is my favorite thing. Uh-huh. So if I have only one sweet in the world, it will only be appam. And I got a chot to appam on my hand, uh-huh. and, and I'm not comparing. No one else got appam. Yeah, yeah. The whole queue, uh-huh. appam never came back to anyone. Uh-huh. For me, that was. Uh, I want to say that that, that Anubhu, I'm here for you. I'm here with you. You know. <laughs> for me, that was that was that defining moment of Appa and uh, and several and that was so so that one moment in January 20. Uh, I'm still try. I'm still under. I'm still. Uh, uh, what to say? Um, I've just begun to probably touch the surface surface about Shraddha Saburi means. Mm-hmm. But for me, uh, earlier I kind of um, had one perspective to Saburi, which was patience and tolerance and endurance. Mm-hmm. But Baba gave me a very different perspective in again uh, early early Feb March of this year. I had this deep longing to to visit Gokarna, which is uh, just like about a couple of hours from here where we stay in Udupi, mm-hmm. and uh, there was a deep longing. And uh, the train was at about four twenty on a, on on the on a Tilak terminus platform in Mumbai, mm-hmm. and I was still stuck on a traffic junction about ten fifteen minutes away from the station at four fifteen. Mm-hmm. And that was the time I truly broke down with Baba, saying that. And it was very interesting. The taxi was traveling with, with was at Sai Bhajan's playing all around, mm-hmm. and I was just I was just weeping all together. Baba, it's not meant for me. It's not meant for me. Yeah. So I that was that. How to say? We all talk about surrender. Mm-hmm. But for me, I'm noticing surrender cannot be an inter- intellectual concept. It happens. Mm-hmm. I don't plan surrender. It okay. happens to. Actually, that is my experience. Mm-hmm. It's like acceptance doesn't happen. It right. happens. Right, right. It just ensues in your life. You know, moment you shut, you're, you're just there. You're being just surrenders, not mm-hmm. that you're doing surrenders. Mm-hmm. So that was a that was a true moment of surrender as an experience for me. And so happened. Somebody from the outside just uh, opened the taxi driver's uh, window, asked him to step out. Mm. He got in and he got to the station about two minutes from the from the from the platform. Mm-hmm. Straight to the four twenty, everybody from the, the all porters, all people from the beginning of the station are telling us that the Mercedes on the train has left. Yeah. But I am not willing to uh, what is accept that truth till I see that. Truth with my own eyes. Yeah. So the porter, the taxi driver, all are carrying the luggage with me. We're climbing from platform number one to platform number four. Each one is telling us, "Mat se gaya gaya sir, mat se gaya gaya sir." Yeah. But I, I was not ready. 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 I was And that was and train did not leave up till until ten minutes after I boarded the train. And that was the time I really realized that Saburi also means dhairiya. Mm-hmm. I forget which chapter uh, Baba talks about Sai Sachchidananda, but he talks about uh, very interestingly. If you read the Bhavar Bhav- Kaka's version, mm-hmm. uh, Bhavar the Bhavar the Sai Sachchidananda, mm-hmm. uh, Baba talks about um, how how Saburi has to be uh, has to be has to be grazed against the dagger of uh, uh, Shraddha. Mm-hmm. And there he brings the active element of uh, Saburi. That mm-hmm. is courage, dhairiya, mm-hmm. which I never had. I never had. It never landed on me. Mm-hmm. I never understood it. I never understood it. But Saburi, I always had endurance or tolerance. I understood it. The but when you have active dhairiya, I mean, your lens apply it in Saburi. Mm-hmm. And that was the, that was the day Baba taught me mm-hmm. that just like your four purusharthas of life, dharma, artha, kama, moksha. Mm-hmm. Moksha is only one of the purusharthas. Mm-hmm. I have to show up for my dharma. And what is my sadharma now? And what is my samaj dharma now? Mm-hmm. And that is. Very important. I need to have artha. I need to have kama. I, and and also I need to have moksha. Mm-hmm. It is not moksha alone in the exclusivity of everything else for me mm-hmm. as a human being. Mm-hmm. And uh, that was a true realization that which really gave me the courage. I am going to show up for in life. Mm-hmm. Stand up for what is uh, what is showing up now, mm-hmm. and respond with your fullest potential. Mm-hmm. That was that was that was a very defining defining moment for me. Mm-hmm.
Mm-hmm. And I have had for several other moments, but these are the two moments. If I have to ask, if someone has asked me, yeah. Baba gave me the two two spectrums. Yeah. One is compassion, mm-hmm. two love. Mm-hmm. Yeah, deep longing to meet your meet your meet your uh, choices longing. Mm-hmm. So the upam and here was wisdom. Mm-hmm. Was show up. Yeah, have the courage to show up. So. Thanks for watching. I hope you learned something from this video. Please share your views or questions in comment below. I will reply you very shortly. Please subscribe this channel and get connected with me.